फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो दिस बिल हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन दिस हाउस इन परसुएंस ऑफ द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ द प्रेस कमीशन ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स माइट रिमेंबर दैट द कमीशन हैज डिवोटेड सम पार्ट ऑफ इट्स ऑब्जर्वेशन टू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ हैविंग ए शेड्यूल विच विल रेगुलेट द प्राइस ऑफ न्यूज पेपर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द पेजेस दैट दे कंटेन सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स दैट द कमीशन हैव मेड आर रेलिवेंट हियर एंड माइट हेल्प ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स इन कंसिडरिंग द बिल मोर केयरफुल्ली एंड ऑल्सो एग्जामिनिंग द ग्राउंड्स ऑन विच दिस रिकमेंडेशन हैज बीन सो एम्फेटिकली मेड बाय द प्रेस कमीशन द कमीशन सेज इन पारा टू हंड्रेड फाइव दैट इन द प्रेजेंट न्यूज पेपर इंडस्ट्री ऑफ दिस कंट्री पेपर्स ऑफ लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग विच हैव बीन एबल टू बिल्ड अप ए लार्ज एंड स्टेबल वॉल्यूम ऑफ एडवर्टीजमेंट रेवेन्यू आर इन ए वेरी एडवांटेजियस पोजिशन एज कंपेयर टू अदर्स हु हैव जस्ट एंटर्ड द फील्ड इट इज ट्रू दैट सच इकोनॉमिक एडवांटेजेस एंड हैंडी कैप्स एग्जिस्ट इन ए नंबर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज बट देयर प्रेजेंस इन द न्यूज पेपर इज नॉट इन अवर ओपिनियन कंड्यूसिव टू द इवन एंड हेल्दी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द प्रेस न्यूज पेपर्स सर्व एज मीडिया फॉर द फ्री एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ऑफ आइडियाज द प्रॉपर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी रिक्वायर्स दैट एवरी इंडिविजुअल should have equal opportunity in so far as this can be achieved to put forward his opinion i have just given a few extracts from the commission's report in order to explain the underlying idea of the commission the main aim of the commission's recommendation is to see that a fair price is guaranteed to independent small papers and thus enable them to resist competition from bigger and richer papers it is also to protect such papers against unfair price competition such as exists in other industrial commodities like cornering price cutting etc it is the commission's contention that though such practices might be tolerated within a certain limit in other industries it should not be so in the press industry where we have the medium of expression of public opinion and where concerning by a person or a group of persons of this medium would mean the passing of this medium into the hands of a few persons and their monopolizing the medium of public opinion and throttling the expression of opinion by others who would like to place their views before the public this in their opinion would be practically amounting to a denial of the freedom of expression and it is in that light that they have made this recommendation the commission have said that they have examined many schemes as to how it would be possible to ensure the largest amount of freedom of expression and they felt that this was probably one of the most effective ways by which we can ensure freedom of expression i would like here to mention that when the commission's report came out the government had discussions regarding those recommendations and the recommendation regarding price page schedules was also one of those important recommendations which were discussed with a number of organizations which were concerned with the newspaper industry the all india newspaper editors conference the indian federation of working journalists the indian eastern newspapers society the indian language newspapers association and also a large number of individual newspapers editors and proprietors were consulted this discussion took place many times and the pros and cons of this question were thoroughly discussed we found that the majority of the members were very much in favor of some such legislation and restriction there is no doubt that 
some of the papers were against it but that was to be expected afterwards came the debate in parliament on the press commission's report and government found that in the discussion in both the houses there was a very strong opinion i would say a strong majority opinion that some such legislation on the lines of the recommendations of the press commission should be undertaken by the government here i would like to mention one or two things regarding the question of the price page schedule and the pros and cons of the advantages or disadvantages of a schedule the points in favor of the schedule might be considered briefly it will tend to equalize competition and also prevent the emergence of monopolies secondly it will also relax the control of big advertising interests on newspapers and in that sense generally make them more independent thirdly the creation of monopolies and the cornering of large numbers of page papers by one or two or three groups impinges on the fundamental right of freedom of expression and by trying to restrict such practices we will in reality be giving greater scope for freedom of expression that we can now these were the main things which we had in view in the discussions with the newspaper interests however in discussing the details of the price page schedule a number of points cropped up and we had also before us all the arguments that could be put forward against the schedule we certainly carefully considered all of them one of the points which was brought forward was that this was something quite new and was therefore likely to create a very unfavorable press and unfavorable reactions regarding our country in the international world it might be even spread abroad that india is restricting the freedom of the press now regarding this point i do not think it will be correct to say that no such restriction exists even today and formerly on a greater scale in great britain the price page schedule existed and exists no doubt the object of it might be quite different the object is to give a more equitable distribution of newsprint but the control by a statutory corporation of the distribution of newsprint only to papers if they follow certain price page regulations is there and has been functioning for the last 15 years or more in this country during the war and immediately after we had the schedule for a number of years stop